cat's body is designed for hunting. From 800 pound tigers to 8 pound tabbies, the body plan doesn't differ much, except for size. And neither do their hunting behaviors. Yes, it is true, domestic cats don't need to hunt to survive, but that doesn't mean they couldn't if they had to. The development of physiological hunting requirements begin at a very young age. At about two weeks of age, locomotion and sensory development begin, both of which play vital roles during the hunt. In their book, The Domestic Cat, The Biology of Its Behavior, Baton and Turner write that the two most important senses when cats hunt are acoustic and visual cues. At the start of the hunt, a cat mainly uses its ears to listen for potential prey. Cats have incredible acoustic discrimination and are able to hear sounds that are much higher than humans or even dogs. Practice hunters are able to locate prey at close range by sound alone. Of course, visual cues are also very important. Following the detection of prey by sound, the cat looks for movement. It takes an experienced cat to recognize and capture immobile prey. The development of hunting behaviors also begin at a very young age. These behaviors are partially instinctual. However, the majority are learned from their mothers. Commencing at the fourth week of life, mothers will bring back dead prey and eat it in front of their kittens. Caro noted that the direct exposure to prey during a kitten's development resulted in an increased killing rate as adults. Kittens progress from exposure to dead prey to living prey. This allows kittens to learn how prey moves and behaves, over time honing their skills and eventually enabling them to hunt and survive alone. In order to catch prey, one must find prey. Cats will either wait and ambush their prey or actively seek it out. Once the prey is found, the cat must ensure it is properly oriented. Cats are always inhibited to some degree with face-to-face -face orientation, so they will readjust their position in order to attack from the side or the rear. Usually a cat's predatory attack is accompanied by some sort of defensive behavior, the degree of which depends upon the cat's confidence. The attack consists of a relatively stereotyped sequence of actions. Cats use a swipe, which displaces their prey horizontally to test their prey's response. If the prey remains relatively stationary, it is bitten. A more defensive response typically results if the prey continues to move. The cat will pin the prey, then proceed to bite it. The bite is firm and aimed at the neck region of their prey. Timid hunters will repeatedly approach their prey, initiate tentative contact, then withdraw. This behavior is often misconstrued as play. Whether a cat is wild or domestic, its mother has provided it with both the genetic requirements and skills to be an excellent hunter.